Hey future millionaires, welcome back to my channel. It's Ellie, of course, AKA Ellie Talks Money. And today we are talking about money. We are going over how you can build business credit as a new business and what the benefits of business credit are. I get a lot of questions on this, so I cannot wait to walk y'all through how you can do this even from day one of establishing your business and why it's going to benefit you in the long term. So of course, grab a notebook, grab a pen, and let's get into these gems. Let's go. Ellie talks money to create the better days, business, money, life, the Ellie way. All right, y'all, welcome into the video. So let's get to talking about how you can start building business credit even as a brand new business and why it's gonna benefit you. So number one thing I need you all to understand is that you can build business credit no matter what type of business you have, no matter how long you've been in business and regardless of how much your business income is currently generating. I really wanted to bust those three myths because there is so much misinformation about there out there telling you that you can't build business credit unless you're this, this, and that, and that's just not true. So eh, X, put it in a coffin, it's not the case. Let's break these down one by one. So first of all, from the moment you form your LLC, you have your EIN and you have your business bank account, you're able to start building business credit. And I wanna tell you one of the first places you can go to do this is nav.com. So nav.com is basically like the credit karma of business and it's going to be a place where you're able to look at your business credit score. Also, when you make your monthly membership payment to them, which isn't required, but I do recommend it, then that builds your business credit. So that's actually one of the first accounts you can have to start building building your score and the membership is about $30 a month. So I'm going to link down nav.com below so that you guys have direct access to it and it's a great place to build. I have a nav.com account. Many of my students do as well, so highly recommend. Now, you also are going to need a DUNS number in order to start building your business credit. That DUNS number can usually take 15 to 30 days to come back to you, but you don't need to wait to start building business credit until you have that. You are able to put in your request and then still set up your NAV account, as well as start to get some tier one trade lines, okay? So the next thing here that you'll do to build business credit is get some net 30 accounts. So these net 30 accounts are going to be with places like Uline, Quill, Crown Office Supplies, Suma Office Supplies, and these are accounts that allow you to order generic things for your business, right? Packaging, cleaning things, I've ordered a chair, a whiteboard, whiteboard erase markers, you know, just general things for your business. But the key thing is you are able to order these on a net 30, which means they give you 30 days to pay it back. And so when you make that payment successfully, that is going to start building your business credit. This is something that you can do without any PG, as in personal guarantor. You do not need to use your social security number for this. You are able to start accessing these accounts immediately. Now, what's really fantastic about this is that as you start building in tier one, you are building a cumulative business credit approval number, right? business credit account number. So what I mean is, if you get $3,000 from Uline and Quill and Crown and Suma, that is $12,000 in total business credit that your business has been allotted. And so that shows up on your report as a total amount of credit given, which is great, right? Now it's showing that your business has received $12,000 in a line of credit, even if you yourself have only ordered or spent a few hundred dollars. So that's really the key strategy about building in these tiers is making sure you maximize the number of accounts that you have and go from there, okay? So now the next step here, and you may just be in your first month or two of building your business credit and you've already gotten thousands of dollars in approvals. The next thing that you want to do is build in tier two, right? So tier two is what I refer to as your gas cards, some vendor accounts, and some smaller lines of credit. So Amazon has a great line of credit program you can qualify for, as well, gas cards like A to B gas cards, Chevron and Shell are great gas cards that will report as revolving credit on your business credit report. 
but also do not require a personal guarantor to get. In addition, accounts like Staples and Office Depot are great accounts you can get that build your business credit and are technically business credit cards, but you don't need to use a PG or have a high personal credit score in order to obtain. And again, these are not looking at how much your business is making right now. These are not going to be based on your revenue. You are able to start acquiring these accounts so that you have a multitude of diverse accounts on your report. And again, many different lines of credit that overall contribute to that total business credit number, right? So in tier one, we're looking at about 12,000, and these are just estimates. You can definitely get much more than this. In tier two, even if we get $5,000 from each of these companies, and there's four or five each, then that's another $20,000 we're adding on. So now on your report, it's showing that your business credit, your business has received $32,000 in credit. This is fantastic, right? This is really going to help you in the long run when you start applying for lines of credit, when you start looking for larger approvals to really help you scale your business. You're going to have all this history on your report that shows how your business has managed multiple accounts. And the third thing I wanna get into with you all is really why this is all important. The reason I want you to maximize your time and start building right away is because we're playing a long-term game, right? We want to ensure that our businesses last and that we can get funding for our businesses for a very long time. So the longer history you have with your business credit, the better that's going to look when you are applying for an investment loan or when you are buying or applying to get a car in your business name. And that's something I teach you all in another video. So I'll link it down below or somewhere on the screen, how you can buy a car in your business name, okay? Because we all would love a new car, I'm sure, and we would all love it even more if it was in our business name. So, you know, again, this is the long-term play. You really want to ensure that you're building business credit effectively here so that you are able to use it for a long time to come. I wanna give you guys a bonus tip, okay? So in addition to needing your LLC, your EIN, and your business bank account and DUNS number, you also want to have a payment processor. So this is something like a Stripe, a Shopify, a PayPal, even Five Star Processing is a great one. And the reason why you need this is because you want to have sales running through these payment processors because you can also qualify for capital programs through there. Many of these companies like Stripe, PayPal, and et cetera have a $5,000 threshold or a $10,000 threshold where once there are $5,000 or $10,000 of transactions coming in on a monthly basis, over the course of a couple months, now you qualify to get capital from them, again, with no PG and fully in your business name. So this is something you wanna start doing immediately, running transactions through there and ensuring that your customers are paying you through a payment processor so that you can quickly start to qualify for more capital. All right? We are getting to the bag all year long. This is a lifetime thing, not a short-term thing. So I'm really glad you guys tapped into this video. I want you guys to comment below any questions that you have and don't forget to subscribe to my email list so you can get invited to my free wealth webinar that is coming up. You can click down below or just text wealth to 310-564-0065. That's my number. And my team and I will send you back the link ASAP so you can register. All right? Much love. See you guys in the next one. Bye.